Okay, Caroline, let's see what we can uh, get straightened out here with this um, airplane song. Here's your first shape. I'm, that's what you've got. First finger on the first fret of the low E. Skip the A string. And then your little finger is on the third fret of the D string. So your first four notes are... Again, as you already know, have this little finger in place before you start. It'll help it flow better. So you've got, and I'm just using, I, I'm really using my uh, my thumb and my first finger to do this. Uh, there's not, I'm not doing a whole bunch of, a bunch of complicated stuff here. I would just practice this repeatedly until it's very natural with both both hands. Like that. So there's your first little section. Here's our next section. Notice this stays down once you've moved from this shape to here. Uh, th these two fingers stay down. This looks like it's down, but it's not. These two fingers aren't involved. That's just a camera angle, as you can see from the tablature, I know. Um, so. so you've got the open G then back up to uh, the D string and I'm using my first finger to get those two strings if you want to watch the right hand for a moment and this fingers still down there's your little bass run from here to the open A to the first finger first fret on the A string. Uh, so uh, let's see here. So you're going G string, D string, all the way back to the low E at the third fret. These fingers aren't doing anything, they're just along for the ride. Open A and first finger, first fret on the A. So that gives you your little kind of bass run thing. So here's what we've got so far. Oops, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here we go. Okay, so there's your first two clusters. of it. So uh, these parts actually kind of overlap um, so it doesn't always sound complete uh, where I leave off. Let's see. I'm going to go back to the beginning of this. Oh, I'm sorry. have that moving bass line from the one to the three that you saw before on the low E string and now you're singing again on the A string. So if we stripped out everything else you'd have this moving bass line going. I know better. 
include stuff we hadn't really done yet. Uh, so let's see here. This finger joins uh, the neighboring finger at the third fret, but on the A string. So you're going open A, index finger of the right hand, plays the open G string. And that little finger is still planted. And then here's your walking bass shift. Not, not walking bass shift, but that same motion, that moving bass line. We're doing this with just index finger and thumb on the right hand right now. You could also do this with uh, alternate picking uh, use, using your pick. Um, we might look at that later, but uh, this seems a little bit easier to sort out uh, with less confusion doing it this way. To that point, here's what we've got. And then you go back to the, here's the last bit, open G, and then the D string, and then look here. What does that look like if you threw a first finger across it, you'd have a, a full F. So you're really working around variations, little uh, bits and pieces of, of F, okay, throughout this thing. So, um, so let's see. Um, your middle finger once in this whole little deal and it's here second fret of the G string okay so let me play through this again I'm always wanting to come up here and grab that open G string uh, instead of the D string that I need. Anyway, here we go. Um. I know. Uh, it'll get smoother for both of us. I need to spend some more time on it too. So anyway, uh, good work tonight and we'll take a look later on at the, those um, parts where it becomes chords and stuff. Uh, but don't worry about those right now. Uh, this is enough to keep us busy for a bit. So anyway, good work tonight and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks, Carolyn.